Hello, welcome to another tutorial. In today's video, we will be going over the TCP IP connection. Uh, and more specifically, we'll be looking at how to set up your robot or your VM or your virtual machine as the server. So we have made another video on uh, how to set it up as a client. Um, and then you can go check that out after this video as well. So to start, we first need to know the IP address of our robot or the virtual machine. And today I'll be demoing on the virtual machine. So you can click system, um, system, network, and you can click if config to look at um, your IP address of the connection that you're using. So currently, because I'm on my virtual machine, I'll be looking at ETH0. So my IP address is 192.168.136.132. And you're, you're going to need to make sure that your computer's uh, local IP address matches. Um, especially the first three digits. So the first three digits, the uh, first three triplets, sorry, needs to match between your robot and your um, uh, virtual machine or your, sorry, or your local machine. So to check this, we can go into settings, network and internet, advanced network settings, more network adapter options, and we're looking at um, VMNet 8 because I'm using my virtual machine. So depending on what other device you're using, um, you will look for that connection here. So I'm looking for this one, VMNet 8. Details. So I'm using 192.168.136.1. So as you can see, the two IP addresses are the same. The first three triplets. And I can just test this by ping this IP address through my um, VMware, through my virtual machine, Avo PE. So I can just click ping. And if the, connect, if the two IP addresses match, it should send back you know, all the packets were received and 0% packet lost. So as you can see, we are good to go. So let's like take a look at the demo project that we're running. So we have a loop running concurrently with a thread. So in this loop, we're just, you know, printing, print waiting, um, not much here. And in the thread, we have a loop and we're running this TCP server uh, script file. So let's take a look at that. So in this file, we have three functions very similar to the TCP client file. We have the split string, which is, you know, we uh, receive a string sent over by the client and we basically split it um, based on a delimiter, for example, a comma or whatever, so we can get the inf useful information out. We have a send function. This is a wrapper function for the TCP.server.send string data. Um, so uh, the inputs to this function are just the IP address and this string that we're trying to send. Notice the only difference between this one and the string data is that we no longer need to provide the port in the, in, in the uh, function call. And we have the receive function. Um, so we, you know, once again, we, we call tcp.server.receive underscore, underscore string underscore data. And once again, we just need to provide the IP address. So here, this is the main, main loop. So uh, we call we initi initialize the IP address of our computer, the port that we're using, 5000. So we start listening. So this is how we initialize um, the server. So we call tcp.server.listen and the specific port. So in this case, it would be port 5000. So we have a while loop here. While the server is not connected uh, to this IP address, so basically if there's no connection between the client and the server, we just sleep, we don't do anything. However, the second that we do have a connection between the client and the server, we send uh, we send hi and we receive whatever you know we get from the client, and then it it just keeps on going in a loop. So let's see this happening uh, in real time. So the first thing we need to do uh, if we're our robot is a server, we need to start this project first to initialize the server. Now we go into NetAssist because we don't have any um, actual device connected. Um, for example, a camera system, a vision-based system. Um, so we're just going to use this network assistant to simulate, uh, you know, that additional device that we're trying to connect. So here, because our robot is a server, we're going to use Net NetAssistant as the client. So we click select client. We click remote host address. Our address uh, of the robot was 192.168.136.132. The uh, host port was 5000. So let's try to connect. There we go. We have connected. The server has sent over hi. So let's send back hello, as you, as you can see here. Can you hear? As you can see here, can you hear? So 
we have established successfully the connection between our the ho uh, the server which is our VMware or the robot and the client which is our network assistant now if you guys don't have access to this network assistant yet please contact Avo support uh, we will gladly send you over a, a copy of the download file for you to use this is very useful um, when you want to just tr test out things for your project and that is all in terms of setting the setting up your TCP server um, for your for your robot.